That's my shit right there on video, 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 video. Run it back. Why are you hating? I hit 2 million views in my basement. Two told me, bro, let's go out on vacation. I'm still on probation. Big bro, I can't make it. Queso has come back with another reaction. And today, 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 <laughs> we am for it. We are reacting to the official music video, Song Ha, Vanda, Monso. This is going to be fire. I heard the record. I I I love the record and I love Vanda's visual. So I was like, this is going to be perfect. It was like Christmas. I almost reacted to the teaser, but I said I don't even want to see nothing else. I don't want to see nothing yet. I want it to be a complete surprise. Now, I need all of y'all to go. Bing! Follow me on Spotify. My new album, The Year of the Dipper, is out now. And y'all always it it, it, it hey, so you talk a lot about music. Do you back up what you say? Do you practice what you preach when you say rappers should do this and do that? Do you do that? Well, go find out. I need my, all my Cambodian Queso Big Dipper family members to go follow me on Spotify. Go stream the project, Apple Music, we everywhere. Now, before I... Break it down. Break it down. Hit that thumbs up button if you are new to the channel. Hey, how are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. Because if you don't subscribe, your granny is a dirty, stinking little bitch. We popping off. Boxing Energy presents The Grinds. Boy, if I'm not going to have 100 million endorsements. Boy, getting that chicken. Can't be mad at you. Yo. Stay in that real world area. Nigga just. Yo, you know what we gotta do immediately? You know I only do this on my international reactions. Gotta put on that closed caption. Wait, go to the settings to change it to English. It is English, nigga. Alright, let's go. And annotations. Alright, go, let's go. Yo, tell me that this doesn't give you like straight movie vibes. Like, is it just me or does this give you straight movie vibes? And some, that's what a music video is about, you know, is best representing what the song is. You know what I'm saying? Some videos be super high budget. Them super high budget videos fit sometimes. And sometimes they be those gritty, just your homies in front of the camera with the drinks. All those kind of things work. But the thing about Vanda is... I feel like he makes movies. I feel like he does his pacing, his energy. I feel like I've said it before. Van Dot needs to be on movie soundtracks. Why do we not have any movie soundtracks with Van Dot? And it don't gotta just be, it could be fucking American, it could be Cambodian, it could be fucking Japanese, Chinese, what fucking Latino, whatever it could be. Why do we not have Van Dot on soundtracks? He just he has that energy. And another thing, I know I pause. Avanda speaks and represents the the lower class, you know, the lower, the lower, the, the people who came up from nothing. And so I love that he's paying homage to them. He's he's showing you areas niggas working hard. And and that's a respectable man. A hardworking man is somebody that you should respect in this world. I mean, one of the things, at least he could be a piece of shit and work hard, hard, real hard. But if you're a hardworking man, I'm more inclined to be like, oh, let me learn a little more about you. Because I feel like that is something to be valued, a hard worker. Oh. Nobody respects lazy. But that nigga got the head bite all like Jimmy Butler. Hold on. Okay, so world order. Feedy on feedy on feedy. I can't wait. That's my favorite part. Awesome. Yo, what we got here? Give me a minute, give me a minute, give me a 
Hold on, man. And this is niggas trying to act like Vanda don't got bars. I, I hate that. When I watch people it do international reactions, yes, we need the closed captioning. Yes, we do need that because it's not my native tongue. But I would feel like I'm che cheating Vanda, who I support, who I think is a dope artist. I would be cheating him if I didn't spend as much time trying to analyze the lyrics as I do with the American artists. I feel like for Americans, us Americans, who aren't going to show respect enough to the art form, to the genre, to hip hop, to break the bars down. Well, just react to some shit you can. Cause uh, not everybody can do it like the Dipper. I'm just trying. I'm just telling you. Hold on, man. So let's get to these bars. Cause he was spitting. Hold on. Talking about the private chest. Hold on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I won't stop until I finish all the work. I won't leave this room. Hold on. Tell me this shit ain't bar. Tell me that that shit wasn't bars. He said, give me a minute. And the thing about it is like, when you're giving me bars, nigga, give me some swagger to give me a minute. Hold on, niggas in there. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. He's still giving you that energy. He's still giving you it. But he's saying, bro, give me some time because I have work here. And that's, that's a very prophetic thing. Like, on a deeper level of thinking, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me some time. I got work I need to finish. I got shit I need to accomplish here on earth. I want to. I've traveled. I've worked hard. I want to go lay down on a private jet. I want to go chill. I want to just reap the fruits of my labor. But I still got work to be done. Talk that shit, Vanda. That's my shit right there. Oh, video, 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 video. Run it back. Give me a minute. Give me myself again. Don't let you do the thing. Got a name in the play of band. Don't you let you play the jump back on night with suicide gang. Let's be honest, bro. Vanda has gone Super Saiyan when it comes to rapping. I ain't gonna lie to you. Is it? <laughs> because what he said, I, my lyrics, my melodies, and my, my wordplay are all things that I, I love when... I love, you know, sometimes it takes you saying you're good before people acknowledge how good you really are. I, I, I could tell y'all, yeah, man. I do some of the best reactions in the world. I just think I do. I can, br I can really give you a deep analysis on anything. And... Of a valid analysis, not just some bullshit, not just words for sake of words. And yes, my reactions are, are are extended, they're long, because I believe that's what music deserves. I believe for me to actually tell you what a song is saying, I probably need more time than my reactions even are. Sometimes I'll be like, well, well I think they got that bar. I, get, I think they got the bar. I think they're going to... You need it. You need that. T you need that. You need to have that. Comp Sometimes you do need to tell these niggas, yeah, I'm the fucking shit. And it's not cockiness. It's just... Your credit you are deserved. That's all it is. Is it he deserves credit for because look at it, even his energy. Look at that last give me a minute with the hey hey's. Look at how it becomes so much more aggressive. So you're immediately pulled in. It's give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me it's chill. Then he give me a minute. Like you feel it right away. So, oh shit. That nigga say, okay, I'll give you a minute. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Myself again. Hold on. Give me a minute. Hey. Bro, he said your fist clenched, nigga. Why you don't throw shot? Why you don't do something? Shake a little bit. Why you don't? You got your fist over here. Do something, man. Do something, little bitch. Mine. It's been a minute, man, because I ain't reacted to Van Dyne in a minute. But you know, Viva La Dipper. 
Long live the dipper. I am and forever will be the vibe king. The people called me and I just had to say it. This motherfucker. I know we wait to the end before we give it a vibe. But that bitch is such a vibe. Video, 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 video. <laughs> And I think some of the things that he says be so prophetic that it could go over your head. Like that was just a that was a light bar in that bitch. But how real is that? Nothing's more greedy than human beings. We the most greedy motherfuckers on the planet. We are we are greed, vain, and 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 and, and vanities and shit like that drive society, M riches and. It's the overabundance. You got a million dollars, right? Why are you still working to have a billion, right? And if you have a billion dollars, why does someone in, in I don't know, Botswana, in the hood of Botswana, why does he make less than one dollar a day? But we don't think about that because we're so in this rat race. We're so greedy. Ask me why I love listening to Find Out because I love hip hop to make you think. Yes, we have that language barrier, but that actually only entices me more because it's like when hip hop can be done well in a whole different language. There's some people that I'm looking at, some artists I'm looking at, I'm like, damn, nigga, you speak English, I speak English, and your shit still sucks to me. How the fuck does this nigga do it in Cambodian? But it's the beauty of hip hop. It is the beauty of hip hop. This nigga's putting it on. He's really doing his damn thing for show that, yeah. And look at that. That's that symbolism in that bitch is so raw. He from a little room going big places. That's a bar too. And I, I I've always wanted, you know, just selfishly, I've always wanted a record by Vanda where he's giving me bars in English. Can it still hit as much as it does in Cambodian being his native tongue? That verse right there, that those bars right there hit for me. And the symbolism in that video was so dope. Be careful with it, what you ask for. You want to be famous. You might hate it. And look, he's being pulled in so many different directions, literally and metaphorically speaking. When you reach levels of success, you know, I, I speak to like, and I'm not as successful as Vanda. That's not, is that a mystery? Did nobody know that nigga has millions? He's doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm just a humble reactor, right? But even in it, since I, when I had nobody watching my videos, I didn't get people's opinions. It wasn't until we started doing a couple hundred thousand views every month that I feel like I have been the influx of opinions I've gotten from people. Hey, you should do this like this. Hey, you should go back to this. Hey, you should do it like this has just become just out of nowhere. But, but I'm doing that at this scale. I can only imagine what it's like for an artist like Vanda, for someone at his level, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just, it's just me being able to relate to it. And I think that that works with everything. You know, we watch professional athletes from our couch and we tell the professional athletes, man, he just needs to pass the ball more. Man, he just needs to sh shoot, shoot from a different point. But it's like, my nigga, he made it to become a professional and we didn't. Why do we have an opinion on how he should play the game? This is why I love Vanda. There's so much thought to be had when in his music. Done drunk, small steps, can't live, made a big changes. I'm a game changer, you can change faces, fake. Just wanna be famous, careful. You might just hate. <laughs> Oh, damn, nigga, hold on. You got knocked the hell out. Some fake at Sinbo. Let me think. Oh, they want him to take a dive. Fuck off. Right on. Did you see how he flipped it with the picture? This nigga came with a different flow, y'all. 
Hey, Vanda, I know you, Vanda, we seen Vanda post me on Instagram, right? We all remember that, man. Vanda, so you watching this video, man. Come on, let me know. Uh, uh, throw, throw that little ticket. I can't go to Cambodia right now. I'm on probation. But when I'm up, man, uh, send a ticket. I get the old ticket, but I got to know where I'm going first. You know, don't take me to no hood in Cambodia, nigga. I don't, but what's our party with y'all? Y'all niggas be that big. Give me a minute every turn to. Do I gotta go get a suit? Hey, Vanda, let me know, bro. Do I gotta go get a suit, nigga? I go get me a little suit on the guys. I'm in that motherfucker like this. Yo, I even get Jamal. So, Jamal, come here. Come here. we going to go party in Cambodia with Vanda and his homies. Let me know, bro, because I get him a suit, too, because he got to come. No nigga left behind. They hated on me because I smoke, nigga. You ain't been through what I've been through. Facts. Are we juveniles. How can the judge judge what we do to smile? Keep it hating, nigga. You ain't know he the king. You ain't even know. That's King James. King Von Da. Yeah. Video, 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 video. A video, 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 video. Hold on. Video, 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 video. All right, let's end the movie. Let's end the movie. Jamal, what you think about to happen? I saw it there, man. Huh? I'm on the <laughs> And the kids pass the dog. That's a beautiful metaphor. It's a beautiful metaphor. We ain't even gotta get into that one. That's a beautiful metaphor. And he's just looking. Oh, life is like a monsoon. It can lead you to meet any type of person in the society, but be aware there are people who can give you an opportunity and there are people who only look to take advantage of you. What is most important is what we are in the what, uh, what we, is that we are the ones who take advantage of opportunity, Vanda. Facts, facts, no fiction. Yo, that was a certified vibe check. Jamal, tell Vanda how we feel. For those of you who don't understand what Jamal just said, he he needs you to drop skull too. We tired of waiting. If this if this is the energy you got, if you rap it like this, if you coming like this, skull two will be a banger. There's no need to fear. You don't need no promo. Just drop skull two. Case I'm gonna be here for your promo, nigga. I'm gonna react to your shit. Goddamn, my everybody else who react to gonna react to, but especially me. Now that was a certified vibe check. Here comes another reaction by me right here. News video by right here. Bing bing. Click on it, show me some love. And if you watch this video this long and you haven't thumbs it up or subscribed, you're a granny. No, not your granny. You's a bitch. So hit that subscribe button, thumbs this video up, and go follow me on Spotify. KBD family, salute. Sa Canada, I mean Canada, Cambodia. How do I say queso world order in, in I forgot what y'all language called. 
How do I say it in that language, though? Okay, so world order. We out. <laughs>